What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is DJCS. Welcome to an all new video here on my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be customizing and comparing the all new Obey iWagon in GT Online. We're going to compare it to other vehicles in its class, see how it matches up to other vehicles that are just like it. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop it a like. I would greatly appreciate that. So, the Obey iWagon is available on Southern San Andreas Super Autos for $1,720,000. I swear, some of these vehicles just get more and more expensive, even though they're on Southern San Andreas Super, Super Autos, which is usually the cheaper website uh, where you find the cheaper cars. But we're going to go ahead and purchase this. Let's get that in white. It says, it's time to look to the future, but you need to take things slow. World peace? No thanks. Universal healthcare? Get the F out of here. GTFO. An SUV that's all electric? All right. It's a start. The forward-thinking Obey iWagon. There's an inch of ozone with your name on it. That, that kind of that statement doesn't seem proper. It sounds, it's supposed to, it sounds like it's supposed to be with the forward-thinking Obey iWagon. There's an inch of ozone with your name on it, but I don't know. I'm not an English major. Nonetheless, we are going to purchase this vehicle for $1,720,000 and we're going to customize it. Let's drop it off at the agency. Alrighty, so let's customize the Obey iWagon, which is in the SUVs category. No Imani Tech. Armor, we're gonna start with that. Brakes, race brakes, bumpers, front bumpers. We got not a lot of options, but we got street bumper, tuner bumper, race bumper, secondary tuner, secondary street, and competition bumper. Let's go secondary tuner. Okay, rear bumper, we have gray bumper with reflectors. Uh, stock with reflectors, stripped bumper, gray stripped bumper, stripped bumper with reflectors, and stock with reflectors alternate. Um, not a lot of options for the rear. But let's go with stock with reflectors alternate, I guess. Uh, a hood, raised hood. Carbon raised hood, carbon rally hood, carbon discrete vented hood, discrete vented hood, rally hood. The order of these is really weird because normally it goes like raised hood, carbon raised hood, rally hood, carbon rally hood. Uh, but yeah, uh, rally hood and sports hood. Kind of like the raised hood. Let's go with that. Uh, lights, we got headlights, xenon lights, neon kits that we'll wait for the color not a lot of options only 14 options for customization which is not a lot at all which tells yeah we can't change the roof fenders any of this so there's not a lot of customization to this at all which is terrible for that price uh tension camouflage take a minute for it to kick in there uh, tension camouflage alternate mind mock racing Estancia which isn't bad it's got turbo all over on the front back sides uh, Kis uh, Kisama Japanese beer that's a new one I wagon, which you can kind of make out there on the side. It says I wagon, and it's got a white stripe there. Her I wagon alternate. This is basically what the normal one looks like, just in black. Other one is in white. Legendary Motorsports. I'm guessing that is this. This one's in red. With the number three on the side. Legendary Motorsports. Nothing on the back. A couple stripes in the hood. Or the, on the roof, I mean. And then Candy Box Racing. Not a lot of good ones. Lucky 
keep it simple. We'll go with the I-Wagon alternate. Uh, plate. Let's quickly change that. Uh, respray. We got primary. Let's go metallic. Do like a. Do I want a blaze red or do I want a um, sunrise orange? Let's go with the blaze red. Secondary colors, do metallic. Let's go. Let's do like a. I don't really know, because that's the only secondary on this is the bumper, so let's just keep it black. Or maybe just continue the color. Keep it, we'll make it black. Alrighty, and spoiler. Paint to lip spoiler, carbon spoiler, secondary spoiler. Uh, let's do the painted lip spoiler. Suspension. Oh, we'll leave it because I don't lower my SUVs or my truck's wheels. Wheel type, let's go SUV. Stock rims. And let's throw some. I do like the stock wheels. But let's throw some. Hmm. VIPs on there. Windows. Window color. I gotta go back to wheels. Wheel color. Here we do those in place. Red. Also, tire tire enhancements. Bulletproof tire smoke. Go with orange. And then let's go back up to lights. Neon kits. Let's do an orange neon even though it's a red it's kind of a blaze red but it's got the orange pearlescent to it and that is all she wrote uh we're gonna do a comparison on it see how it compares to other suvs but i'm uh pretty sure this vehicle is not worth it not worth the price tag not worth your purchase not worth your time Well, let's take it on down to the well, let's take it on down to the airport and see how it compares There you have it guys the obey i wagon is not worth it at all not worth your money not worth your time not worth just letting sit there to keep dust it has terrible customization barely any customization at all and it's terrible on speed in comparison to the uh pagasi toros which is the fastest suv in the game and the Anus Jubilee, which is one of the newer vehicles from the contract DLC in the SUV category. So save yourself the money. Don't bother with this vehicle. If you're new here and you pre and you liked what you saw and you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop it a like. I would greatly appreciate that. With all that said and done, guys, have a good one. My name is DJ CS, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, don't forget to tip your DJ. Later, dudes.